the top current trends are, first of all, of course, constellations. <laughs> Uh, definitely still trending. I would say also the integration of analytics, so the vertical integration of analytics into the data acquisition, so analytics platforms into the data acquisition. I think it's also that we've, something that we've seen more of in the last year. And the third trend I would say today is a diversification of sensors. So you're starting to see some radar uh, startups building you know, small satellites for radar. There's a little bit more of hyperspectral, you know, people talking about building hyperspectral uh, Constellation. We've been looking at other people have been looking at uh, shortwave infrared payloads. Uh, there's, you know, there's a diversification of, of data sources that I think uh, uh, is also going to be uh, very healthy for, you know, for deriving new insights based on. The democratization of and commercialization, like the growth of the market, will be fueled by you know all the applications and all the different things that people will learn to do with data that is widely available at very low cost. This has been the case, you know, if you look at the, uh, the tremendous growth in applications for Landsat imagery and for Sentinel imagery, I think you know all that we learn with this kind of systems is that you know people that get access to this kind of data can develop very interesting new applications, and I think. You know, the more that we can give them other sources of data with similar, you know, um, accessibility, then the more applications that we've seen develop over the, over the next years. And this will be impact the whole market and will make the market grow. When I look at, at what's being commercially used of the uh, data that we, that we collect from orbit, I think part of it is natural in the sense that you know one third of the planet is land and, and the rest is, is water. And that's already concentrating your targets over specific areas. And then, of course, the population and the interests that we have on top of the surface of the, uh, of the land are not equally distributed. I mean, it's not evenly distributed over the surface of land. You have most of the concentration in certain places, you know, we have more population. So if you do that math, you know, you already start with, you know, a maximum, like really useful data around, you know, that's probably around uh, 10 to 12 percent of, uh, of the surface of the earth. I, I think it's very natural. I think on the other hand, we shouldn't be concerned about this. We should just build systems that, you know, can, can basically still give us a return on capital and a return on investment even if we are using less than one percent or you know of the of the uh, capacity that uh, that the studies have because I think this is just the nature of the concentration of the targets that we're interested in.